going to mark out the rebate or the recess around the frame for the mirror or picture, whatever you're going to fit into it. Going to use a combination square so I can adjust adjustable ruler and I'm going to do a 10 millimeter wide rebate. So I'm going to line 10 millimeter up with the edge of my stock on my square. Sharp pencil, simply run the square and your pencil all the way around the inside of your frame. This will just give us a guideline for when we're routing so we can see if we've cut enough out. Keep the stock hard up against your wood and your pencil hard in against the edge of your ruler or the end of your ruler. I'm going to be using the router in a minute. If I set the depth of my router, I want to do a 6mm deep cut, but I'll do it in two stages. I'll do a 3mm deep cut first, and then I'll do another 3mm cut after that. The reason for that is, if I take too deep a cut, it puts a lot of load on the electric motor. Uh, wears out the and heats up the cutting bit, the router bit. And it takes a little bit extra time to push it through the wood. So that if you take a lighter cut, you can do the lighter cut in a pretty quick time. It puts less load on your router. So I've got my line all the way around. Now I'm going to be using safety glasses, dust mask, some ear protection. So my router's already set up. At the moment I've got it set for a three millimeter cut so on the router here I've got this uh, depth stop here and this is a depth gauge here at the moment it's at three millimeters if I twist it around to the next I can push the router down to that next step and that'll be another three mil cut give me a six mil cut overall using the fence I've got the fence already all set up to the correct width and we're ready to go. Remember always hold it with two hands, let it get up to full speed before you put it into the wood and cut in the opposite direction to the direction of rotation. I'll show you cutting both directions. Make sure the power cord is out of line of cut. Hold it. Two hands, full speed, and then put it into the wood. Don't forget to hold the fence hard up against your wood. was going with the direction of rotation it cuts okay but it gave a little kick and I have left control so I've got I haven't got a perfect straight line here so if I come back the other way against direction of rotation it'll cut better So this is where I was going with the direction of rotation of the, the cutter and it's kicked a bit. I got less control and it's put a mark. Not straight. And this is going against direction of rotation. I've got a nice straight line, had more control. So I'd continue to do that all the way around my frame. And then I'd 
adjust the router down to the next stage and take the final cut to make it 6 mil cut. If you take too big a cut, the cutter, the cutter can overheat. You'll get smoke coming out, you'll get burn marks, you'll blunten the cutter and put extra load on the motor. So just take lighter cuts.